Did you guys know when you purchase a suppressor from an airsoft store, this thing is basically just an empty tube. There's nothing inside it. It doesn't suppress anything. That's why they call it a mock suppressor. Now, when I got this silencer, I went down and I bought me a couple pieces of this uh, suppressor foam, acoustic foam, if you will. And it was almost just as much as the whole silencer. It wouldn't fit in it. So I came up with an idea of using this foam and some springs instead of this acoustic foam to get the same effect that I wanted. Hang out with me to the end and I'm gonna show you how we're gonna use springs and these little foam rollers to turn it into a real suppressor that will help silence your gun just a little bit. So the foam I'm talking about is the stuff that fits in these little bitty foam rollers. You can get it in four inches or six inches. I've even seen in as small as two inches. The thing is you can get this at any hardware store and these packages are less than four bucks. This spring only cost me a couple of bucks. I'll leave links down in the description so you guys go to Amazon and see about how much they cost. So to get started, just open up a package of foam and pull a piece out. I'm using an X-Acto knife, but you can also use a craft knife, hobby knife, or even a kitchen knife. But I'm telling you right now, my dudes, if you do use a kitchen knife and your parents or your spouse finds out about it, don't send them to me. I know nothing about this. Making the inside of the suppressor is extremely easy. Just remove one of the foam rollers from the package and very carefully take your cutter and gently cut the foam lengthwise from top to bottom. Please do this slowly and carefully so that you don't accidentally cut yourself. The bottom of the foam does not have a hole in it and you'll need to cut it off. You can use a knife like I'm doing here or use a pair of scissors. Next, slowly and carefully so that you don't tear the foam, slowly peel it off the plastic core. We won't need the plastic core any longer and you can just throw that away. Finally, place the spring inside your foam tubes like a hot dog. Since my suppressor is very long, I'm using two pieces of four inch foam. The spring is totally optional, but I like to use it to hold the foam in place. If you've seen any of my gameplay videos, you guys know how clumsy I am. I tend to trip and fall a lot. The spring helps hold the foam in place so that I don't dislodge the foam if I fall or bump the suppressor really hard. For the excess spring that sticks out of the top of the suppressor, I use a pair of wire cutters to cut it. Be warned though, the steel some of these springs are made out of is really tough. And that's the hat guys. I just did about four suppressors with these two packages that cost me about eight bucks. The springs, just a couple bucks a piece. And it works perfectly. And if you like tech reviews like this, I got another one right here for you. It's a 55 round VSR 10 magazine. I think you guys are gonna love it. Thanks for watching. Have a good one dudes. Shrek out.